The movie opens with two American young men named David Kessler and Jack Goodman. They are on a three-month trip across Europe with plans to visit several major cities, such as Paris, Rome, and Berlin. They're currently hitchhiking on a sheep truck through the wild countryside of northern England on their way to Italy. As dusk approaches, the driver pulls over and leaves the boys on a desolate road, explaining that he's going in a different direction. Before departing, he warns the duo to stay off the moors and stick to the road. After this, the boys continue their journey on foot and soon arrive in front of a pub called The Slaughtered Lamb. When they step inside, the locals abruptly stop what they are doing and stare at them in silence. However, when the two guys place their orders, the locals surprisingly go back to what they were doing before. Moments later, Jack notices a pentagram painted between two candles on the wall. He tells David about it, and both are left curious about its significance. Jack then asks the locals what the symbol means and why it's painted there. Surprisingly, the entire bar falls silent again and stares at them in anger. The patrons seem furious for some reason and eventually kick the boys out of the pub. As the duo leaves, the barmaid looks worried and says they can't let them go. However, the pubgoers only warn the boys to stay on the road, avoid the moors, and be aware of the full moon. The duo, still shocked by what happened, continues walking, hoping to find a village where they can rest soon. However, it soon begins to rain heavily, and the fog around them thickens, causing the boys to stray from the main road and eventually become lost. Moments later, they hear ear-piercing howls in the distance and become frightened. They decide to return to the pub, but realize they're in the middle of a moor and can't orient themselves. The growling sound grows louder, and the boys realize that an unknown creature is approaching them. They start running in the opposite direction, but soon a werewolf emerges from the fog and attacks Jack. David rushes to help, but by then, Jack has been brutally ripped apart and is nearly dead. The werewolf then turns its attention to David and attacks him, but before it can cause any serious damage, the locals arrive and shoot it dead. As David falls unconscious, he notices the dead werewolf transforming into a bloodied, naked man. The scene then cuts to three weeks later, when David awakens in a hospital in London. He is greeted by a doctor named Hirsch and a man from the American Embassy. David inquires about his friend, to which Hirsch reveals that Jack was murdered. According to official reports, they were attacked by an insane escaped convict. David, distraught over his friend's death, becomes hysterical, so a nurse named Alex sedates him. Before losing consciousness, he clarifies that it wasn't a madman who attacked them, but a large wolf. When he awakens later, he is visited by two detectives who want to take his statement. David tells them the same story about how they were attacked by a big wolf. However, the detectives don't believe him because two witnesses saw a madman attacking the boys. They reveal that the escaped lunatic's body was discovered, and an autopsy report confirmed that he was the attacker. The detectives now suspect that David's memories are distorted due to severe psychological trauma. In the following scene, David begins to have nightmares in which he sees himself naked, running through the forest, and tearing a deer apart with his teeth. When he awakens, Alex urges him to eat some food before taking his pill. David asks her to leave the pill and promises to take it later. However, she refuses and proceeds to feed him like a child. David is touched by this gesture and finds himself attracted to her. Later, when he falls asleep again, he has another strange dream in which he runs through the woods. When David wakes up, he frantically tells Hirsch about his vivid dreams. The doctor, however, assumes it is the result of psychological trauma and assures him that everything is fine. David says he doesn't want to be alone as he's scared, so the doctor promises to send someone to stay with him. In the evening, we see David accompanied by Alex, who is reading a book at his bedside. He then tells her that she's very beautiful, causing her to blush. Soon after, he falls asleep and has another nightmare about a group of wolfmen wearing Nazi uniforms. These men slaughter his family and set fire to his home in front of his eyes before slitting his throat. At this moment, David awakens and informs Alex that he just had a nightmare. Thinking he's feeling uneasy, she goes to open the curtains but is suddenly stabbed by one of the Nazi demons. David freaks out at the sight, but he soon wakes up and realizes it was just another nightmare. The next morning while having breakfast, David is visited by the ghost of Jack, whose face has been completely mauled. David believes it is just another nightmare, but Jack insists that he is really there. He apologizes for disturbing David, but explains that he came to warn him. He tells David that they were attacked by a werewolf, known as a lycanthrope. Since David was bitten, 
he will turn into a werewolf during the next full moon, which is in two days. As for Jack, he is cursed to walk the earth in limbo, neither dead nor alive, until the wolf's bloodline is severed. Jack now urges his friend to end his own life, to break the werewolf curse, and prevent more innocent people from becoming victims. However, David believes he's hallucinating and dismisses what Jack says. When he calls for Alex, Jack vanishes before she arrives, and tells her about Jack's visit and his warning, but Alex reassures him that it was likely just a dream. The next day, David is discharged from the hospital, and Alex takes him to her apartment. She clarifies that bringing men home is not something she typically does, but admits she's attracted to him. They spend the afternoon together. Later that night, when David goes to the bathroom, Jack's ghost appears again, looking even more decayed than before. David is still in disbelief, but Jack warns him that the full moon is the next day and urges him to kill himself. Once again, Jack disappears when Alex enters the room. Meanwhile, Dr. Hirsch visits the slaughtered lamb to investigate David's claims. Upon entering the pub, the locals fall silent. Hirsch tries to ask them about the incident with the two American boys, but they deny knowing anything. Disappointed, the doctor prepares to leave, but a young man approaches him outside and reveals that the boys were attacked by wolves and that people around David are in danger. However, before the young man can say more, an older villager scolds him, and he flees. That evening, while Alex is at work, David is alone in her apartment. He tries to distract himself by watching TV, but his body suddenly burns with intense pain. David's body starts to transform. Thick hair grows all over him, his hands turn into claws, and fangs protrude from his mouth. He has become a werewolf under the full moon. Now on the streets of London, David hunts for victims. He first encounters a couple who are on their way to a dinner party, and he brutally kills them. He then attacks three homeless men in a junkyard before moving on to a subway station, where he chases and kills another man. The next morning, David wakes up naked in a wolf cage at a zoo, with no memory of the previous night. Shocked by his surroundings, he escapes by climbing over the fence and steals a coat to cover himself. When David returns to Alex's apartment, he tells her about waking up in the zoo, but she dismisses it as another strange dream. While they are talking, Dr. Hirsch calls, concerned about David's condition, and asks Alex to bring him to the hospital. As they ride in a taxi, David feels unusually energetic, telling Alex he hasn't felt this good in years. However, the cab driver interrupts their conversation by mentioning the news of six murders the previous night. Realizing Jack was right, David panics and assumes he's responsible for the deaths. He leaps out of the cab and runs to a police officer, confessing to the murders and begging to be arrested. But the officer dismisses him, thinking he's mad. David runs away, determined to keep her safe. At this moment, Jack appears again, now reduced to a skeletal figure. Jack leads David to a porn theater, where the ghosts of David's six victims confront him. They plead with David to kill himself to stop the curse, suggesting quick and painless methods. But David is paralyzed by fear and uncertainty. As the full moon rises again, David transforms into a werewolf inside the theater and begins slaughtering the people inside. Police arrive at the scene, but David escapes and continues his violent rampage through the streets of London, causing chaos and killing more people. The situation spirals out of control when he decapitates a police officer, throwing the city into a panic. Dr. Hirsch and Alex rush to the scene after hearing about the commotion. They suspect David is responsible and find him trapped in a dead-end alley. The police have barricaded the area, keeping the public at a distance. In the final moments, Alex pushes through the officers and enters the alley where David, now fully transformed into a werewolf, is cornered. Tearfully, she pleads with him to stop, telling him that the police will kill him if he doesn't. She also confesses her love for him. For a brief moment, David seems to recognize her, his animalistic behavior softening. But his instincts quickly take over, and he snarls at her. Seeing this, the police open fire, shooting David to death. As he dies, he reverts to his human form, lying naked and lifeless in the alley. Alex watches in sorrow as David's curse is finally lifted, and he is freed from his torment. So that's it. Hope you enjoy the story. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more videos.